Warning, this video contains grand amounts of rage and heavy swearing. If you don't like either of those things, this is not the video for you. Hi there! Yes, you read that title correctly. I rage quit an Indiana Jones game. Trust me, I was just as surprised as you were with this fact, because I have played a lot of video games in my life, and I've gotten frustrated plenty of times. It's only natural to get frustrated when you play challenging games. I've also played plenty of games with abhorrent controls and maybe want to snap the disc in half, but I have never, not once ever in my life, either on my channel or just playing games in my spare time, played a game with such intense hatred that I actually rage quit. That I actually had to shut the game off and stop what I was doing because I was so infuriated with what I was playing. Never. That has never, ever happened until today. Yes, I took a break from Danganronpa, but I came back to finish what I started in the end. Yes, Pokemon Sword almost broke me, but I still stuck it out to the end of that game. But of all the games in the world, I never thought it would be an Indiana Jones game to push me over the edge. I love Indiana Jones. The characters, the stories, the music, the action, these movies are awesome, and the games... There's no reason why they wouldn't be awesome as well. An adventurer exploring the world in search of priceless artifacts is about the most game-friendly premise you could possibly come up with. Lego Indiana Jones is one of my favorite games of all time, and Staff of Kings? You know, it's pretty good too, despite being a little rough around the edges with the motion controls. And since you guys seem to really love my Indiana Jones content, holy hell, what the fuck, 8,000 views? And since this game was coming to Games with Gold this month, I decided to give it a shot. I figured, you know, even if it wasn't amazing, I, I'd still enjoy the game. After all, it's Indiana Jones. How do you go wrong with Indiana Jones? Simple. You make platforming a key element in a game where the controls actively discourage precise platforming, and then you make swimming a key element in the game where you have to pull back on the left stick to get to the surface, but also push forward on the stick to actually get out of the water, which just sends you swimming to the bottom again. I may love Indiana Jones, but even I have my limits. The puzzles and atmosphere of the temples are still pretty good. Unfortunately, it's drowned out by all the other bullshit this game tries to throw your way. Look, like I said earlier, I'm no stranger to awful controls, and if the problem was literally just the controls, I probably could have stuck through this game to the end. But there was something far, far more troubling with this game. Something that bothers me way, way more than any platform or swimming controls ever could. And it's also something that likely only me and maybe one or two other people in the world would ever have a problem with. Can you guess what it is? Whoa. Looks like somebody's been overfeeding the fish. Yup. This fucking crocodile. Or more specifically, every single crocodile in this game. From an objective perspective, removing my personal bias, throwing these skulls to distract them is pointless because they swim too goddamn fast through the water for you to be able to successfully outrun them. But, of course, I wouldn't be making this video if that was the whole deal. You know how Indy has a chronic fear of snakes that paralyzes him whenever he encounters one because of something that happened when he was younger? Well, that's basically the same thing with me, except with crocodiles instead of snakes. You may have actually heard it in my voice when I first encountered these things. Go over there, go the hell over there, get the hell away from me, you piece of crap crocodile. Okay. Oh, there's- oh, there's one right there. Oh, why is there one right there? Okay. I don't like this. Alright. I don't really want to get too deep into it, but ever since I was very, very young, I've always been terrified of these things. It's so deeply ingrained into my brain at this point that my blood literally runs cold at the sight of them. Like, usually in horror games, I'm on the edge of my seat in tension, you know, w with fear of what's going on, but I'm not legitimately scared for my safety. I know there's, in the back of my head, I may not be consciously aware of it because the game's atmosphere is so good, but I still know in the back of my head that there is a barrier between myself and the game's world. There's still, it's still all just happening on a screen and it's not real. I don't literally stop thinking properly and freeze out of shock because of what's happening on the screen. But that is not the case for this game. And I don't really care if anyone just rolled their eyes or said lol cringe when I said all that out loud because this is deeply rooted into me and it's not really something I can control. It, it's to the point where literally just having a canteen refill station that's shaped like a crocodile head is enough to make me freeze up. Okay, whatever. I, I, oh my god! Oh my fucking god. So... With that in mind, just the fact that this giant crocodile's in this area at all is bad enough, but combining that with the fact that you have to swim through the water and platform over the crocodile with the aforementioned abysmal control schemes, you can imagine how this section might cause some anxiety, to say the absolute least. And just so we're crystal clear about this, I'm not saying they should have removed all crocodiles from the game just to appease me, right? That's ridiculous. I would never ever say that. I'm simply trying to explain why I literally cannot push myself to finish this game no matter how badly I want to see what the rest of the levels are like. Just so you can hopefully understand where I'm coming from here. So, now that you have the context for my experience with this game, please enjoy watching me suffer. Because I know I sure had a blast with this fucking section. 
Hey, look, Ma, I made it. I made it to the I made it to the center of the temple where I'm sure this will just be a straight shot with no traps. Oh, please do not even. Looks like somebody's been overfeeding the fish. If I don't get that monster out of the way, this is going to be a real short swim. Why? Why? Uh, I don't want to do it. I really don't. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, why? But the swimming controls are so bad. I don't. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna fucking work. It's not gonna work. I can, I don't. I can I even get up that ledge? I don't think I, I can't. There's no way I can. I like that. This guy. Okay, where else can I go? There's a ledge over there, but that doesn't seem to go anywhere. Is that a room over there? I think I think that's a room. Okay. So. My big brain plan here is to wait for him to go over to the right hand side, but I can't see. Is he below me? No, he's not below me. Where where the hell is he? Is he behind the thing? I hear him swing around, and that's it terrifies me. Don't. Okay, there he is. There he is. There he is. Okay, okay, okay. Here, my here here's my big brain plan. He's he's getting closer. Wait for him to get real close. Okay, I, I fucking hate him. I 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 hate him. Go over there. Over there. Over there. Go. That would not catch your attention, but okay. Now we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Go, go. Mash me. Just mash me. Mash me. Go, go. Fucking go. Go, 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 go. Come on, please. Please, fucking please. Please. Where do I go? Where, where, where can I get out? Where can I get out? Where, where, where? I can get out here. I, no, no, I can't. No. I, I fuck. Ah, ha, 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 I hate it, I hate it, I hate this, I hate this! Like, you get- you see what's happening, right? I'm trying to get- I'm trying to get the hell up, out of the fucking water, but the- what- what if I- wait a minute, what- can I- The fact that I even have to fucking do this is bullshit, but if I invert the controls... Will that- okay, now it's first person. What if- if I do this, will this affect my swimming controls? I hope to god it does. Which, by the way, the fact that I- if- if this fucking works, the fact that I would even have to do this, that I would have to uninvert my controls, just for the chance to survive this, is- Go, 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 no, it doesn't- go, 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 what are you doing? Get out of the water! Oh my god, oh my god, thank god. Thank fucking god. Thank god. Also, it didn't- it, it didn't fix it, by the way. I don't know if you saw that, it didn't fix it. It doesn't- it didn't fix the controls, so, okay. So the controls are just busted, then, in that case. Like, I'm- I'm sorry if this is, like, cringe to watch or whatever. I don't really give a shit if you think this is cringe or not, because I'm- this is, like, actually painful for me to play. And I- I really don't enjoy this. Oh, do not even try to tell me I have to make that fucking jump. Do not even try to tell me. There's- there's no way I can't possibly make that jump. Also, his shadow is glitching the hell out. Like, his shadow's really glitching. Which is making him all the more terrifying, believe it or not. Okay, can you just go anywhere else? Like, go to the other side of the- go- go swim over there. Maybe there's some fish over there or something, I don't know. Is he gone? No, he's not gone. I don't think so. If- if- if he's still there and I jump, I die immediately. But I- Okay, he- well, that was my chance. He was gone, and now he's swimming right the fuck back, because- of course he is. He couldn't have given me some skulls here. Because I- there's no way I, I- I- I literally can't make that jump. I can tell from the distance I can't make that jump. That's assuming that I actually- the game responds to my input and I actually jump when I jump- when I leap off this- this platform. I- I will not make that jump. It won't happen. I have to get in- I have to land on the water, swim up somehow, and grab the ledge. But the problem is that he's right freaking here. And he will not leave! Okay, keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. What do you do? You swim. Swim. Okay, go. Here's my chance. Go now. Go now. Go. Go now. Go. 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 Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Up. 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 I. 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 I hate this game. I hate it. I. I fucking hate this game. It's. Who? Fucking made this! Who designed these swimming controls? This is the most infuriating game I have ever played. I am not kidding. 
I have not played a game in my entire life that has made me this goddamn mad. I hope you're enjoying this, by the way. I hope this is, like, some really entertaining quality content here, because I hate this. And by the way, I'd like to remind everybody, I played Apollo Justice Ace Attorney last year, and that game is probably the most insulting piece of shit I've ever played. So, for this game to outstrip that in terms of insulting bullshit is quite the fucking accomplishment, I must admit. I didn't think- I, 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 I honestly, honestly, I'm impressed. Honestly, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed, game. I never thought that there would be a game that would infuriate me more. And yes, there's obviously the personal reason why this is pissing me off so much. But, like, I, I don't care if it was a giant fucking teddy bear in the water. It, like, it would- the, 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 the bullshit controls that are preventing me from beating this are still bullshit, regardless of what enemy is in the water right now. But I was right. Like I said, you can't make the jump. You have to land in the water and then swim up. But thanks to this game's abysmal controls, because, like, you have to pull up on the left stick to swim to the surface. And then you have to push forward on the control stick to actually get out of the water. Now, the obvious problem with that is that when you rise to the surface, you're going to automatically sink right back down to the bottom because the controls contradict each other. I gotta take a chance. I gotta take a chance and hope... Just go, just go, just go. No, I messed it up again, I messed it up again, I messed it up again. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Go, go. Get out of the water, go. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, yes, yes, yes! Get fucked, crocodile! Yes! Oh my god! Fuck this game and its awful controls. Now, all I gotta do is make this one jump, one jump, one jump, and I fuck it up! You gotta be kidding me! This is pain. This is pain. And you, and you know what the best part is? I have to do it all over again. Every single goddamn time. I, don't get that monster out of the way. I hate this game. I hate it. I hate this fucking game. He's twiddling around. I have some time. Please don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Thank God. Oh my God. Turn the camera slightly to the right. Jump, jump, jump. What the fuck? What the actual fuck was that? Okay, whatever. It's whatever. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know what happened, but we, we, we're back. We're fine. How close was that fucking thing? Wait, is it glitched? Oh, please tell me it's glitched. Oh, please tell me it's glitched. Please. Please. Oh my god. Please tell me. I think it's glitched. Yes, I think it's glitched. Yes. 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 Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking awful, horrendously coded game. Thank you so much, please. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, go. Now just go. We don't have to worry about it now. We don't have to worry about it. Now we can just go. We can just we can just go along our merry little way and keep jumping between ropes or chains or whatever the hell they are. And he can keep getting he can get stuck in his little his little corner over there. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Now I'm nervous to like do anything because like anything I do could get him unstuck. I, I don't I don't want to enter his section of the water. Because if I enter that, 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 that might, like, trigger his AI to come after me or something. So I gotta, I gotta stay over here as much as I possibly can. I think he's still glitched. Is he? Nope. God damn it. Please don't miss. Please don't miss! Made it! Okay. Where is he now? That's not good. If, if I can't find him, that means he's probably right below me. Or he's either, he's on the other side of that ledge, or he's directly below me. And that's not a good thing, if, if, the, if that- Okay, no, he's right there, he's right there, okay, he's right here, he's right here. I'm too scared of my abilities as a platformer with these controls to jump, so I'm gonna wait until he- unless he just sits there. Unless he just sits in, like, a Call of Duty camper, which it looks like he might be doing. Is he really just gonna sit right the fuck there? Oh no, he's leaving, okay, he's leaving, he's leaving. Bye, goodbye, see you later, pal. Okay, I I'm safe to jump now, I think. Okay, we gotta get a running start, don't miss. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I, I don't survive this, 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 I don't survive this! God damn it! I can't, no, I can't do it, I can't fucking do it, I'm not doing this, I'm not, I'm not playing this game anymore, I can't fucking do it, I hate it, I actually fucking hate this game. It is the, I, I can't do it, I can't fucking do this, I hate this. All that fucking progress. I guarantee you I press continue and boot you back to the beginning of this goddamn level. Yup. No. Fuck this game. Actually, fuck this game. Fuck it with the power of a thousand Thor hammers. This is going to be the only time on my entire channel so far that I rage quit a game. And of all games in the universe, it's an Indiana Jones game. I never thought I'd see the day. 
I never, ever fucking thought I would rage quit an Indiana Jones game, but I can't do it. I can't do it. This game's controls are too awful. The swimming controls, the jumping controls, and this crocodile. This, I, I can't, if it, I can't, I, I can't do it. I cannot fucking do it. I'm sorry if you were looking forward to the, for the rest of the series, but I can't do it. I, I, I cannot fucking do this. I hate this. I can't do it. I hate this. With like a fire, the burning passion of a thousand suns. It's terrible. I hate it. Fuck this game to infinity and beyond.